Today on the channel, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playmates, Shredder and Donatello. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Ninja Turtles Playmates unboxing and review and today we've got shredder and donatello now these are walmart exclusives i do believe this pack i had to grab off of walmart online but if you're looking for the bebop turtle and the rocksteady turtle two packs you can probably find these at your local walmart for 25 dollars on clearance right now gotta get a deal but did i really get a deal if that's what convinced me to buy these two at 35 dollars online I don't know, but I got to be a completionist, I figured. Uh, and these have been interesting. We've done two unboxings of these sets so far. This is our third of four. Uh, so check out those other twos if you possibly missed them. They are up on the channel, of course. Uh, but it'll be an interesting one here. This is the one I was the most concerned about. And I don't know. I don't know how this is going to look. And we'll know when we get out of the package. And, of course, we're going to do this like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at old Donatello and Shredder in the package. Consistent packaging across the board. I like that. The yellow background. You got Shredder. You got Donatello. A little glamour shot down below of them in cartoon form with their names. The old Verse logo. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo that we know and love by now. We got that there. And then you got the kind of brick motif going on. Got a little bit of wraparound on the turtle. A little bit of wraparound on Shredder there, which is really cool. Spot varnished turtles at the top. UPCs, warnings, all that fun stuff down below. And then you get to the back of the package, which has the turtle family. And then you got the bad guys. And then you got little blurbs. We read it in the first one. We're not going to read it in all these videos, but I'll take a little picture of it. Pop that in the video if you want to pause it and check that one out. So that's very interesting. Now, I got worries this shredder is way, way too small. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Let's get them out of the package. See you later on the side. How about a little plastic prison cardboard prison right there we got the sewer lids of course for both of them we'll get those out and then you get the plastic prison with the big old thick twist ties for these guys we got donatello you got shredder right there well let's get him out of the plastic prison and let's see what the final verdict is about these two all right we got him out of the package let's start off with shredder let's take a look at him and he does come with a stand like we see with all these guys a little bit plain jane we got a little shredder logo going on there Always appreciate a stand, even if these are for little kids compared to the NECA releases, of course. Uh, these are a little bit more kid-friendly, but it is cool they come with a stand. Maybe when the kid's done playing with them, put them up on display. Or an adult like me, I can display these uh, and feel good about myself or, or something like that. Uh, but we got Shredder, but I guess let's look at these weapons too. Once again, we see all silver weapons here. Nothing special with these. Would really like some two-tone colors like we get with the turtles with the bad guys, but... Uh, not happening here. We just got a straight silverish gray uh, sword. Just a katana blade. Nothing real special about that. So we got that one. I don't know what this is called. We've seen this in a lot of the Playmates over the years, especially the old ones. Uh, just kind of some kind of a weapon. I don't know what its official name is, but I would have loved to have seen some brown on the handle here. Uh, they just didn't want to use the paint apps. Got to save money, I guess. Then you get the pizza slice weapon, which I always thought of this as a kid, but it looks kind of like a dagger. It looks like almost something you dig something in the hole in the yard. Like if you're doing your garden, you have something like this. But we got that. And then we got another little pizza slice thing like I used to call them as well. So we got those. Nothing real special in the weapons department for Shredder. And historically to me, Shredder wasn't a real weapons guy. He used his fists and hands and let his other guys do his fighting for him. But Shredder could throw down if he needed to for sure. Uh, but then we get Shredder out of the package here, and this Shredder just screams to be too small, right? That's how it looked in the package, and he feels even smaller in hand, especially compared to the Ninja Turtle. We'll compare him with some size, but let's go through the Shredder first. First thing I notice is this right arm it isn't as tight as I would like it to be. It's got a little bit of looseness in there. Nothing terrible, but it's definitely loose. We do got uh, shoulders that move, but you are limited by his shoulder gauntlets here. They move a little bit out of the way. But not enough to go all the way around with the arm. You'd have to bend it around. Uh, but it will go around if you bend the arm over to the side. Double jointed elbows. You do got the forearm guard things on him. And he's got his Wolverine type spike claws on his hands. Uh, no hand articulation. No finger articulation. No removable hands. Anything like that. But his hands will move side to side. Uh, one thing that I think really takes away from this is the turtles in these packs have way too big of a head. Shredder has the smallest peanut head ever. He has a very small head. 
Uh, I will say, though, the minute you see this, this is Shredder. This looks like the Shredder out of the animation style. This is what I think of when I think Shredder. I would have liked to just see a little bit bigger head, maybe a little bit bigger body for him. Just a little bit. Not, not looking like uh, the Ultimate Warrior or anything, but just a little bit bigger on Shredder would have really worked well with this one. Uh, you do get the gray and the black uh, throughout here. I mean, it definitely looks Shredder. And then the addition of the purple cape, of course. Cape season run wild right now. Just ask our old friend Lando Calrissian. The cape looks good. Obviously, plastic cape. Soft goods would have been cool, but you're not going to see soft goods in a Playmates child toy like this. But a nice, uh, nice stance to this. Uh, cape. I think it looks really good in person in hand. Uh, this really does set this figure off. Without this cape, it would look terrible. So this really does help the figure a lot. You get the upper movement on the torso, a lot of hula hoop side to side, all that really high. Uh, it does feel weird to have that articulation that high up on the chest where it needs to be a little bit lower or preferably at the waist, which we do not get. He does do the splits that much, not a ton of movement there. Uh, no thigh cut for him. We do get the double jointed elbow, elbows? How about knees? We get double jointed knees with him. He does got his shin guards. He's going to be a catcher, uh, later on. And then you get foot articulation back and front. Pretty good. A little bit limited right here at the front. Uh, but all in all, definitely not the best shredder figure we've ever got. I'm sure he will fit on the stand here. Maybe, maybe he will. Let's see. Fight me a little bit more than I thought he would, but he'll go on. So we got him there. I just think the execution of the Shredder is just missing the mark just a little bit. Maybe it's just me. You guys comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, but we do got the NECA cartoon Shredder right here. I guess about the same size. When If we're comparing these throughout these videos, uh, he needs to be a little bit taller to be in scale with these turtles for sure. But it's taken this dynamic and dumbing it down a little bit is what it feels like. So if you're looking for an entry-level Shredder that's not quite the old Playmate stuff, but a little bit more modern take, let's say, uh, this isn't bad. And this isn't a bad first turtle set for a little kid either, or an old kid like myself. But uh, some good, some bad with this, a little bit in the different, but I would lean to liking this less than I was hoping I would, is what I would say about this one. The, the small head really gets me a little bit, but is what it is. Choose your own adventure, as we always say on the channel. Then we turn our attention to Donatello. He loves technology, Donatello. And he also loves a sewer lid with a stand in his name on that. So we've seen that with the Playmates of old. We're seeing him with these Playmates as well. Of course, what's Donatello without his bow staff? Once again, double colors on this one. You get the brown uh, for the wood, and then you get kind of the white strapping of uh, the handle here. Uh, that is pretty cool, if you ask me. I like that they gave that. I wish they could have gave some uh, color to these weapons, but just not in the cards for whatever reason. It's all about money, I'm sure, at the end of the day, but we do get this one. It can be stored on his back of his shell like we've seen with the other turtles. And then as far as this one goes, we'll run through the articulation quick because if you've seen the other videos, all these turtles are the exact same except obviously Donatello being purple. He gets the purple accent colors and he gets the D down here. That's really the only difference with these. A little bit bandana differences here and there, uh, but not a ton of differences besides the face. Of course, the face, he's got the grimace to the side where I think Leonardo had the other side. So we do get some of that. But articulation wise, you got the shoulders go all the way around. You get a bicep cut. You get double jointed elbows. Finger and toe articulations on this one, which is interesting. Double jointed knees and a thigh cut along with that bicep cut. You get the nice little leather strap going on here. Of course, you can store the bow in his back and it slides in perfectly like so. Uh, pretty good. Uh, it's still the same thing. My issues with the other turtles is the same as this one. I do feel the turtles are a little bit big compared to their competition in this scale or the competition is small. I guess it depends on how you look at it, but... Still cool enough, and for, like I've said in the other videos, I'm a broken record at this point, I'm going to display these turtles all together. So if you just put the four turtles in the corner by themselves, what is scale at that point? There is no such thing as scale. I mean, there is, but not really, because it's just those four. It's when you stand them next to Shredder like this that you're like, wait a minute, this doesn't look so hot. Uh, we got, of course, the NECA turtle right there for some size comparison, and then you got even the old Playmates one of Michelangelo, because why wouldn't you? But... That's the thing. It's the turtles are way too big. Look at that shredder. Shredder should be a lot bigger than the turtles. Not really the case right here. So that's my biggest gripe with this line uh, as a whole. But what is your thoughts on this? Are you picking this one up? Like I said, you can get these ones on walmart.com. Some of the other ones uh, you can find at your store on clearance for 25 or maybe below. Uh, these next few weeks are going to be interesting. Some of the stores have a lot of those packs. I, I could see those things dropping down to 15, down to 10, maybe down to 5 if you're lucky enough. You got one of those country stores that takes a while to sell. 
Uh, Got to get a deal out there. So be checking your Walmart clearance aisles. Be checking your Walmart aisles if you're interested in some of these turtles. And even these Playmate ones on the end, they're only $9 right now and dropping. So be on the lookout. Might not be a bad investment or a bad uh, pickup if, if uh, you're in the market for some turtles. So there it is. There's a little Ninja Turtle unboxing. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you give this video the old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Uh, kind of unofficial Turtle Tuesday. I keep saying it the last few weeks, but every Tuesday we're having a turtle something on the channel. Still have all those Super 7s to unbox as well, and plus one more pack of these. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and we'll get to them. We'll get to them all eventually. Uh, we got nothing but time. Something like that. Who knows? But there it is. Follow along on Patreon for this video and the whole series and a lot of other videos much, much earlier. Giveaways, bonus content, all that kind of fun stuff. And then you can always uh, reach out to me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle, underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel, pick up a t-shirt, get the old Turtle Anxiety t-shirt. Be the most stylish guy or gal in your neighborhood. So for a little Playmates Ninja Turtles, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.